comets, asteroids, meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites all describe space rocks. But if you want to use the correct term, you need to know what it is made out of, how big it is, but also where the object currently is. Okay, let's start simple and let's talk about asteroids and comets. And those are the two easiest ones to distinguish. Asteroids often contain large amount of iron. They are like big clumps of rock with large iron deposits. They're essentially just the leftovers from the creation of our solar system. Most asteroids are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. And you can also find a relatively large portion of them in the Sun-Jupiter Lagrange points. So what about comets? Well, comets are mostly made of ice and small pieces of rock. They're like a dirty snowball that you've been rolling around in gravel, if you will. All comets originate from what's called the Oort Cloud. The Oort Cloud is like a big sphere around our solar system that has all these comets in it and, and they just sit out here outside the orbit of all the planets. Um, because of that, when a comet eventually makes it into, uh, into the inner solar system, that could be two of them bumped together, one of them gets pushed inwards, something like that. That means that when they come in, they come in with an extremely elliptical orbit because they're starting way, way far out. They're going way, way, way far in and then they're gonna go out again. And this also means, because of this extremely um, elliptical orbit, that they are extremely fast. And this is why when we have a comet that gets close to, um, to Earth, we can basically see it move from day to day. And actually, even during the night, you can see it move over the night sky, because these things are quick. As they get in closer, they get closer to the sun, they also begin to break up. And as they break up, as the sun hits it, and the outer layers begin to evaporate, which is what's causing the tails. And comets often have two tails, you might hear. That's because one of the tails is debris left behind in the direction that it came from along its path, the way you would expect a tail of a comet to point, away from opposite the way it's traveling, right? The other tail is debris that is blown off the comet from solar winds. So you have one tail that always points away from the sun and one tail that always points um, a, a backwards from its traveling direction. So those could be two different um, directions and therefore also two different tails. And we have heard of comets historically that had more tails and you can get something that looks like more tails if you have an asymmetrical shape that rotates and as it rotates and the sun hits different spots, it kind of pulsates out and it looks like multiple tails, even though it's not. Technically, yes, you can have something that looks like multiple tails, but most commonly you would say comets only have two tails. And this is one of the main features that makes them distinct from asteroids that do not have a visible tail. So what about meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites? Well, they have the same composition as asteroids. They are iron-filled rocks. They originate from the same asteroid belts as the asteroids do, but they're different in size. Usually you would define an asteroid as an object that is larger than one meter, so about that much, on any size. If it's smaller than that, then it is a meteor. But technically, you won't find any meteors in the asteroid belt, because when they are in the asteroid belt, they're called meteoroids. As soon as the rock enters a atmosphere, any atmosphere, doesn't have to be on, on Earth, then it's considered a meteor. But it's only a meteor as long as it is in the atmosphere and not touching the planet. When the meteor impacts, it turns in from a meteor to a meteorite. So essentially, just the meteoroid, meteor, meteorite is just rock in space, rock in air, rock on ground. And this is something people get wrong all the time. And I'll bet you, you can go back to some of my old videos and you will see me get it wrong in some of those videos. If you spot it in the video though, I point it out to me because I think it's kind of hilarious because I mess it up all the time. Everybody messes this up all the time. But now you know what is the correct term to use for these types of space objects. We can look at a star and we can then look how it is according to some background stars. Let me wait exactly half a year. Oh, look at this. Now we get a proper view of it. 